In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to build this simple network that has a router, it has two switches with their own VLANs and a set of PCs. So stay tuned to see how you can do this yourself. So to start, I'm going to click a new um, packet tracer thing um, and we're going to get started building out our network. So what I want to do first is I'm going to come to network devices and I want to add our router and I'm going to use the 2911. So I'm going to place it at the top here. Then I want to come to our switches and I want to use the 2960. So I'm going to place two of these like so. Yeah, that looks good. So then I want to place in some PCs. So I'm going to come to end devices and I'm going to select the PC. And I want to place two here and two here. And of course, I've got to make them all nice and aligned. Yeah, that looks good. So this is our little network. I'm just going to quickly, um, no, I won't save. And then I want to do connections. So I'm going to click on the lightning bolt and I'm going to connect everything via a copper straight through a cable. You can use the little lightning bolt, but I prefer to select the connections because, for example, what I like to do when I'm connecting a switch to a router is I like to actually select the very last port on the switch to connect to the router. Um, I just, I don't know, I prefer doing it this way, especially if you want to go add more devices later. It just means that you've got FAO3 free if you wanted to place another PC. So like. I was like, oh, I really want another PC. I can have it be FA03. Um, I'm just going to remove, oops, I'm just going to remove that PC, but yep. So now we've got our little network set up. We've got our devices connected. We need to actually do all the configuration steps. So my plan for the PCs is to have them be the addresses 192.168.1.1. Ten dot eleven. Then I want to have one nine two one six eight ten dot twelve. One nine two one six eight twenty dot thirteen, and one nine two one six eight twenty dot fourteen. And then what I want to have is VLAN ten depart um, depth A and VLAN 20 depth B. So this is department A with its little VLAN 10 and this is department 20. And then I'm just going to align up all these. That PC is not aligned. So this is the setup that I want. So now we need to actually go into these devices and set them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start first with our switches. Okay, so I'm going to open up switch zero. I'm going to come to the CLI tab. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to do enable conf T and then I want to set VLAN 10 with the name depth A and then I'm going to type exit. So now we've created a VLAN for our switch zero. I now need to set the ports to use that VLAN. To do so, I'm going to write interface range FAO-1 to 24. So here I'm only setting the fast Ethernet ports to be a part of this VLAN. And then what I want to do is I want to do switch port mode access. And then I'm going to do switch, switch port access VLAN 10. So I'm telling those Ethernet ports to use the VLAN 10. So then I'm going to do exit, exit, write memory, and then I'm going to do show VLAN brief. So now you see we have VLAN 1, which is using our gig Ethernet, and our VLAN 10, which we've named department A, with all of our fast Ethernet ports. So now we need to do the same setup on our switch 2. So I'm going to come over to switch 2. This one is going to be our VLAN 20. So I want to do enable conf T VLAN 20 and I'm going to name it depth B. I'm going to exit 
And now I'm going to set all of the fast ethernet to use this VLAN. I'm going to set the mode access and switch port access VLAN 20. Exit, exit, write memory, and then show VLAN brief. See here, we've got the same setup. It's worked correctly. Our gig is still on one, and then our department is on 20. So that has worked correctly. We now have our two switches set up. And next, we need to work on our router. So I'm gonna double click on our router. I'm gonna click on the CLI tab. And I'm gonna press enter, enter. I'm gonna do enable, conf T. So now we're into configuration mode. And I'm gonna set up the interface for the gig 00, which is our VLAN 10. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the default IP address, which will be the 192.168.20.1, so our very first one. And then I need to set our subnet mask. I'm gonna give you a description, which I'm going to call Depth A. I'm gonna do, oops, I've just realized I've set the IP address wrong. It's meant to be 10. So make sure you do 10. Um, and then I'm gonna do no shutdown, exit, and write memory. And now I'm gonna go through the same process step again for department B, which is the 20. So interface gig zero one. Um, what did I spell wrong? Sorry, I was meant to be in conf config mode. So make sure you're in config mode. And we can actually do is we can go to up arrows, which I'm gonna do to get our IP address and make sure it is 20.1. So I've set our IP address. I'm gonna type our description, which will be depth B, no shutdown, exit, and write memory. So now we've configured both of our ports that connect to the two different switches. So now we need to set up our PCs. So I'm gonna come into each of these PCs and I'm gonna set these IP addresses. So for PC0, you come to desktop IP configuration, 192.168.10.11. And here. 192.168.10.12. Oh, and you need to set the default gateway. So that is 10.1. You need to set the default gateway here as well. And then I'm going to do the same over here. So 192.168.20.13. And the default gateway will be 220.1. And what you can actually do is just copy that, might make it a little bit faster. And we can come over here, do the same. This is 2014, and then we've set our default gateway here. So now we have everything set up. I'm just gonna do a quick save. So we should have a network that functions. So now we can do some ping tests for connectivity. So I'm gonna try off from our very first PC. I'm going to come into the command prompt to ping and I'm going to try ping our PC one. So that is ping 192.168.10.12. So we should see pings, which we are, each one is working correctly. The first one's a little bit longer, but the rest are quite fast. So now let's try pinging our other side of the network. So I'm going to do ping 192.168.20.13. And now it should fail the very first time, which I'm going to explain in a minute. Yep. And now each of the ones are working. Now, the reason this one fails the first time is because it times out. The network has to figure out what is the path that I take to get to here. And that is done by filling out and populating an ARP table. So it needs to understand the path it takes via the ARP table with the default gateways. 
So now if we do ARPA, we should see our default gateway of 10.1 and our 10.12. What we won't see is this PC in this ARPA. We will just see the default gateway of this switch. And the switch does the communications to the router and the router knows to get to this switch and this switch knows, oh, it's this. So that's why you'll typically see the first one fail. But then after that, if I go and I ping this again, it's going to work straight away from the get go because it knows how to get there. So that is just something to keep in mind. Now you could keep going through and testing these. Like I'll go over here and I'll just ping uh, 10, 11. Oops. You gotta put ping first. <laughs> and this one worked right away because we already communicated there. And if I do 12, it's gonna fail the first time. And then it's gonna work because it had to populate that ARP table to understand how to get there. So this is how you build a network within Cisco Packet Tracer with a router, a switch, a PCs, how you ping them, and also a just a little reminder that the very first time you might have that first ping fail because it just has to communicate how to get across the network. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I will have more coming soon. And if you have any requests, please leave a comment.